Hey y'all, it's Betsy and mom from Happily Ever After Etc. And we are back with another gardening project. Yes. So we actually did a garden tour of mom's front garden yesterday because it is looking really good. But we somehow went to the nursery and bought you a bunch of plants yesterday. Yes. We went back today and bought even more stuff. I got nothing, but mom got all kinds of stuff and it is Mother's Day. Yeah. So while we went out for grandma yesterday and we'll be doing mom's mother's day next week we figured might as well come help her plant stuff because i knew she'd be out here doing it so we're gonna go ahead and just time lapse planting everything we've been waiting for the coolness of the evening because it was so hot earlier it was 88 degrees it, it was we came out here at like two and it was just too hot to even breathe so instead of going inside like normal people we went to the store and bought more things yes We've only made more work for ourselves, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and plant everything. And then at the end, I will go through, we'll show you each thing that we planted and the tag with the height and weight, weight, width. Height and width. The height and width. And, um, you know, zones and all the important planting information. So for now, we're going to get started because we are on a mission to get everything planted yes. before the sun goes down. Yes. Ready? Break. All right. y'all so we got everything planted starting with this this is a red wine salvia where's the tag mom right here so saucy wine saucy wine very saucy it is a perennial and it gets these tall um burgundy mom spikes. bloom spikes and mom's head yeah. she cannot resist it is a full sun salvia is almost always full sun it gets 24 by 30 tall and wide, and the bloom stalks can get a little taller than that if they are happy in their spot. But typically, the bloom canopy, at the very least, will get 24 bloom stalks all the way up to 30. Yeah. So, yeah. all right, from here, we've got, well, let's show you the gara. So, what's. Gara's next. It's called Whirling Butterflies, and it does look like butterflies. It does look like butterflies. I am jealous of this. I really wanted some white gara, but. I don't really have a great place to put any, but you can see the blooms are very delicate. 
And so these can get big. Two to three feet tall. Whirling butterflies, two to three feet tall and zones five through 10. So mom's pink ones right over here are huge. Are huge. I got some <laughs> and they are Not probably huge. a third of that size. Yeah. So, you know, it all really depends on your climate. But if these get huge here, we planted them with plenty of room. And if not, they'll be a real dancing fairy-like bloom above the gumfrina here. All right, let's move up front. So here is the bee balm. I did get three of these. And they are the balmy lilac bee balm. They are supposed to be perennial. Mom said she planted some in the backyard last year. They did not come back. They but didn't do well. Were they this variety or do you not I know? I don't think they were this variety. They were a different variety. So they were red. Yeah, red. And these are purple. So hopefully these will do well. They are supposed to bloom spring and summer. And they get 10 to 12 high. And they need to be about 12 to 14 apart. So... There's the zone, four through nine. They can get down to 30 degrees, which we rarely get down to 30 degrees, but we did last year. Oh so gosh, yes. maybe that did them in. Yeah. Hard to say. From here, we've got one sweet alyssum. This is the Proven Winner's White Knight. They get one to three feet tall and wide if they're happy. Well, they'll only get about six inches tall, but they can get pretty wide if they're happy. Average size is about 18 inches wide. So they do smell wonderful. All those little alyssum blooms. From here, we had to leave the uh, <laughs> bird bath. Everything was wilting so hard. So we put it all in this bird bath to get underwatered and it's bouncing back really well. But we had put at all of these that were wilting earlier in the bird bath. They loved it. When we went to the store, they loved it, but we forgot the verbena. So now the verbena is getting a bath. And it loves it. It does love it. All right, from here we have two butterfly bushes. This one. So it this is. one is the big tag. This is a bloomables butterfly bush, and it gets three by four feet tall and wide, I believe. Yep. Full sun. Three, four by three, four. Six through nine for the zones, and it is a dapper white color. Yep. So it is very pretty. It has beautiful, pure white blooms and a sagey kind of color when it's not wet. Mm -hmm. Now, the pink one, we planted two of these. We planted the first one a while back. It's tucked over here around the corner under the, under the camellia bush, and it has these hot pink blooms. It did not have a tag, but it is the same stats, full sun, um, except it gets two by three feet tall. Yeah. So not quite as big as the white one. So we're going to let it live under here and we're probably going to tuck some more sun hostas around it. That's yeah. what mom was thinking. From here, let's hopscotch down the pavers of doom. Eventually, mom will really get the compost back in and maybe even some flocks. All that creeping flocks. We've got two more. The white night alyssums here and here. This alyssum I grew from seed over the winter and it's doing great. It's loving it. This one on this side's liking it okay. So hopefully that will continue to grow in and spread all across the front mm -hmm. and then the last one is all the way down in the woodland portion of the garden here is a butterfly bush we planted earlier in the season that is loving its life so it will look similar to that one and that is a two by three footer as well of course all plant tags are kind of a generic in normal circumstances if something really likes where it's at it can get bigger so down here under the water thought we were gonna wait to water till we showed them the video oh i'm sorry <laughs> oh, now they're seeing the water is two milkweed plants that we just got right, mom can you can you let them see for a second i'm gonna knock you out <laughs> They're much bigger than the uh, little ones we planted from seed. 
they died in the heat. So we're going to see, we put an emitter right between them. Hopefully with enough water, these will live and the butterflies will love them. Now they did not have a tag with any stats, but most milkweeds, yeah, it, just says this. it just says red milkweed. That's it. D&J Nursery, yeah. which is the name of the nursery. Bed. And so most milkweed will get 30 to 36 inches tall and a foot to two feet wide. So we'll see how it goes. And it will, milkweed, if it takes off, will self-seed. And it can self-seed itself all in here if it wants to. All right, mom cannot handle this. She has to water. We are on the Hot Mess Express, but we are going to go ahead and call it a day. We got everything planted except the verbena, but the verbena mom wants to pot up in her uh, pots and some of those are going to have to move. So we're gonna have to do that a different day after she calls in the muscle to move the heavy pots because I'm not doing it. Yep. Not that I wouldn't, but. No, they're very They're heavy. very heavy. And, very, very, and, very and heavy. that's what brothers are for. Yes. There's a reason you had a girl and a boy. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> one to plant and one to move. Yep. So did you have a good enough Mother's Day, even though it was an unofficial Mother's Day? Yes. You got a Japanese maple tree and Krispy Kreme donuts. So I'm oh. fairly sure. All good. Going to heaven now. That was good enough. <laughs> We're going to go get cleaned up and eat some kind of food that's not donuts. So we will see you all in the next video. Bye.